So I am going to demonstrate how you use the uh, CRUD generator from Mr. Debug on this Get GitHub page. And this is something that I spend a lot of time using because it just makes my life a whole lot easier. And I want you guys to experience that same sort of ease of use and yet full control in your Laravel applications. All right, so there's a couple of things that you're going to need or to know for starting out. Even though this um, does tell you that it has the ability to create certain kinds of relationships, um, you do want to create those relationships um, using their artisan command line interface. However, that doesn't mean that everything is automatic. There is a lot of manual coding that you need to do in order to create these sort of relationships that actually work on the front end. And even though they work completely 100% on the back end, the front end has a lot to be desired in terms of the views. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not useful. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, basically, in this, this video, I'm going to go over exactly how to use the uh, CRUD generator to generate your CRUDs, but I will create a separate video that goes over how to kind of refine those relationships and make them work not only on the back end, but also on the front end as well. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and get started. I have this, uh, let me close some of these tabs out. I have this fresh install of Laravel on my local machine, and this is using Laravel Sale, which I absolutely love, um, but this is all that it is. It's just an install of Laravel that's working. If you need to know how to install Laravel, that's a whole nother tutorial all on its own. That's not what this tutorial is about, but we're gonna go over how to generate some CRUDs. Uh, all right, so the first thing that you need to do is uh, obviously install the packages for the CRUD builder. So let's go ahead and copy the first command, which is basically um, composer require and the Mr. Debug CRUD builder package, which should go pretty smooth, especially if you're using Laravel sale. And then the second command that you need is the composer require Laravel collective slash HTML. And this is something that you need in order for this to work. And basically what this is, is it is a form builder for Laravel that's made by Laravel Collective. And the, the CRUD builder, when it builds its CRUDs, it uses the format or the layout of this Laravel Collective HTML uh, form builder. So we do need that package as well. So now that those are both installed, we can go ahead and do a composer update just to make sure everything is good with composer. Um, all the packages that composer needs to install are installed and it looks like they are is done. Um, let's, uh, let's basically publish the views. Let me explain what this is. So in this CRUD builder in our editor. So this CRUD builder, if you look under resources and you can see there's CSS, JS and views. We go to views. There's only one thing in views and it's a welcome.blade.php. Now in this CRUD builder, it actually adds a new folder under resources that is the templates for your CRUDs. So your uh, your create view, your edit view, your index view, and your view view. And those templates, because right now, out of the box, when you use this CRUD builder, it does use Bootstrap as its, um, as its UI framework in order to, um, to build its views, which is fine if you're using Bootstrap. But if you're not using Bootstrap and you want to use different classes or you want to lay it out in a way that's um, that you like better, you can basically modify those templates in order to um, in order to make it the way that you want. 
Now I'm using Bootstrap myself, so it's not really an issue for me, but if you want to do something different, you're going to want to modify those templates. So let's go ahead and copy those templates into this folder. And that's what this command does is it just publishes those resources. Let me open up the command line, paste that in. And as you can see, once it's done, there it is. It has added in this CRUD gen folder under resources, which has the templates for the create, edit, index, and show. So for example, if you want to come in here and you want to change some of these stylings, instead of a primary button, you want to use a different button, or you want to modify the stylings altogether, you can definitely do that, which is one of the great things that I like about this, is that you can modify the template before you even build a CRUD off of them. So I'm going to leave these the same, but you can change them if you'd like. You notice that it's also added a default.blade.php, which we don't need to modify right now. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and create our first CRUD. Um, I'm going to use authors and books for our example. We're going to create two different ones. So we're going, and I'm going to explain what these commands mean in just a second. So I'm going to paste this command in and I'm going to explain it. So we're using Laravel sale to, um, to run Laravel. In your case, it might be PHP. So we'll do sale artisan, which is basically Laravel's um, command line user interface and the command make crud because we're going to make a crud for an author. So in our example, we have authors in books and authors um, can write many books. So this is going to, we're going to create a relationship between the authors and books that's called a one to many relationship because one author can write many books. And in our author table, we're going to have one column. Okay. So it's just going to be the name of the author. So we're going to have the author with one column and that column is going to be a string. There are three available options in this uh, library. There's string, text, and integer. String is just going to be a short string of text. Um, text is going to be like a text input box and integer is going to be a number. Okay. So if you wanted to add more columns, you could add a comma and then you could add more columns there if you wanted to, but in our case, we don't need to because it's a pretty simple, um, simple thing. So press enter. It's going to ask us some questions. It says, do you want to create a relationship between this model and another model? The answer to that is yes, we do, because we want to create a relationship between this model and the books model. And you know, we haven't created the books model yet, but we do want to create that relationship. Yes, we do. So it's going to ask you what type of relationship this is. So in our authors, it's a one to many relationship because one author can have many books. So since we're working with the authors right now, we're going to type in the number two because the authors have many books. Press enter. What is the name of the other model? We're going to write book because that is the name of the other model that we're going to have a relationship with. And notice that this is singular, not plural. And also up here, when I did the make crud, I said author, which is singular, not plural. This is actually important. We want these to be singular because we're going to um, be working or we're going to uh, denote when we're supposed to use it uh, plural uh, in the future. So we're going to say we're going to relate this to the books model, even though it hasn't been created yet. And it says, do you want to confirm the creation? Yes, I do. And do you want to create a relationship between authors and another model? In your case, you might, but not my case. I don't need that. Okay, so that is all you need to do to create the authors. And if you look over here, it has created not only a migration for the authors table, but it has also created the views based on the template. 
We have an authors folder in our views now. It has a create, edit, index, and show view. And it also has created the controllers for us as well, the authors controller, which is great. Um, so let's go ahead and create our next CRUD, which is the books. So we'll come over here, we're gonna copy this, and we're going to paste it in here, and let's take a look at this command as well. So we have sale artisan make CRUD book. Again, not plural, it is singular. And now in this one, we actually have two columns. We have the title column, which is a string, so that's the title of the book, and then a comma, and then we also have the author ID column. And the author ID column is going to be what we use for the relationship between the uh, author and the books. So since this is going to be a relationship, the author ID column is gonna contain the ID of the author that wrote the book. So just make sure that you have your correct columns in there for your relationships. Uh, press enter. It's going to ask us the same questions. Do you want to create a relationship? We do. And this is going to be a belongs to relationship because the book belongs to uh, the author. So that's going to be zero. And what is the name of the model that this belongs to? It, the, its author. Again, it's singular, not plural. Yes, I want to confirm the relationship. And no, I don't need to create any more relationships. All right. So let's go back and see what's been done. It has not only created the relationship or the CRUD for the authors, but it's also created the books as well. So there is one, uh, two more things that we need to do. The first thing is we need to solidify the relationship between the authors and the books by going into the database migrations and books table. And you can see right here that the uh, author ID column is a string, and that's actually not right. We need to correct that and make it a uh, unsigned big int. Sorry, we need to make it an unsigned big integer. And so the author ID column is now an unsigned big integer, and then we're creating the relationship. It's a foreign key relationship on the author ID column. It, where it references the ID column on the author's table. And it's going to, on delete, when we delete the author, it's going to cascade and delete all of the books as well. So that is very important because when the author is deleted, you want to delete all of the author's books as well. Now, there are more options that you could put in here besides cascade because maybe you don't want it to, leave, to delete all of the books. But in our case, that seems like it makes sense. So we're going to save this. Now um, we need to create the routes for both of these as well. So I'm going to import the controllers into our routes file. So in our web.php, we're going to import the routes controllers for both the books and the authors. And then I'm also going to create the resource routes, which automatically creates routes for the create index, edit, and view pages for both of these. So those are the resource routes. Let's just take a look at those. So it's going to be authors, uh, authors plural, and it's important that you write it pluralized here. And then authors controller. So we're just importing the authors controller up here, and then we're using it right here to create a resource a set of resource routes for the authors. And then we're doing the same for the books. Again, it's important that this is pluralized and this is just util utilizing the con uh, books controller class. So let's go ahead and save that and zoom out. And now that we've done that, we can run our migrations. And then once we've done that, let's go ahead and run our migrations. Sale artisan migrate we can take a look over here and we have the routes for the route for authors 
right here where we have all of our, uh, where we can not only create an author, we can create an author, but we can edit that author's name. We can edit that author's name. So now, and then we can also show properties about the author and it only shows the author ID, but you can adjust that in your, in your template if you'd like. Um, and then you can also delete the author as well. So, Now we've got, uh, and then we can also do the same for the, the, um, for the books. We've created um, a CRUD for the books as well. So this is, mm, all right. And then it, you have to manually enter what the author ID is. Uh, in our case, it's going to be an author ID of two. Um, but I'm going to show you how to actually create a, like a good user interface for these types of relationships in a different video. But, uh, yeah, we have two different CRUDs and all we have to do is kind of merge the front end UI with, uh, with buttons for that relationship. So be, uh, creating those CRUDs, it's, uh, this package saves me a lot of time. I love using it. It, uh, it gives me just enough information to save me a bunch of time creating those CRUDs, but it's not so strict in the way that it works that it makes it difficult to, to use and function with. Anyways, um, I, I really like this package and I'm uh, hoping that you guys use it as well. It's pretty, pretty cool. And, and like I said, in another video, I will go over how to um, solidify that one-to-many relationship where we have a button here where um, on the author's page, we have a button where it says view the books by this author. And then when you create a book, it, it automatically adds it to that author that you've already selected and things like that. And then when you delete the author, it deletes all the books. So that kind of... Um, that kind of relationship needs to be set up manually, but this is a very great starting point and creating those other types of, of connections is not, it's not that difficult once you know how to do it. So yeah, that's all there, there is to it really. So we'll, uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.